Welcome. Welcome to New Light Living Podcast. I'm Ulrika Sullivan. I'm an intuitive spiritual life coach and a galactic astrologer. This video is a galactic astrology reading of the Gemini full moon at four degrees and 51 minutes on November 27th of 2023. Welcome. First of all, I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers to this YouTube channel and on my podcast. I am overjoyed with so many new uh, interested galactic uh, souls <laughs> that are here. Uh, and together, we learn more about what it means to relate to multidimensional energies, because we're all multidimensional beings. So, uh, and I, with these readings, I hope to help us all to connect with our universe, our stars, and our galactic heritage that we all have. So welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for coming uh, to listen to this. If you're new, welcome. If you have been with me for a while, welcome back. What I do in these videos, I put an outer layer of fixed stars, celestial bodies, and galactic points to the traditional Western tropical astrology wheel. Or if you're curious about your own alignments to fixed stars, galactic points, and celestial bodies, uh, download my Galactic Alignments Reference Guide. There is a link in the description box below to, to do so if you wish. What you will see in this video are three key energetic themes that I see are key to the Gemini full moon. But also you will receive uh, a couple of questions at the end that you can work with to integrate this energy one thing that I want to highlight first before we go into the three themes is that this full moon in Gemini is very much of an energy signature of change. Both the moon and the sun are in mutable signs, but also the ruler of this full moon, uh, Mercury, is in Sagittarius, also mutable. And that brings the signature of this full moon very much into a changeable place. <laughs> and I will address that, uh, of course, within each of the um, themes. The galactic players here, if we call them that, related to the full moon is the moon conjunct the constellation, or actually it's a star cluster called hiatus. And hiatus was active in the previous uh, new moon we had in Scorpio, we also have Mars conjunct the sun opposite the moon, since it's a full moon. And Mars is opposite the uh, also a star cluster called Pleiades. And many of you may be um, familiar with Pleiades. It's very much talked about in uh, galactic uh, heritage terms, because many of us have a strong bond or galactic heritage with the Pleiades uh, star cluster. So um, these two players form the guidance, if you will, of this full moon. And I will get into that as we go through the themes. The energy signature of the star cluster of hiatus is one of creativity, playfulness, artistry, and Pleiades as a star cluster is very much associated with energy of higher communication, the bigger picture, um, collaboration. So with that energy signature for this full moon, I'm going to bring in uh, the key themes next. So let's take a look at the, the chart for the new moon. The first theme I've called a vision for a new direction. And I'll show you here what I see. Mercury, as the ruler of this full moon, is making an almost exact trine to asteroid Eris there at 24 degrees of Aries. And conjunct the north node, the true north node here that I highlighted. And this pair is opposite Boots, um, fixed star Actress. And act this has been a long-standing interaction between the nodes and actress. Actress is an energy of the intersection between science and spirituality, uh, very much associated with higher intelligence, but also emotional healing mastery. 
So this direction that we're uh, really honing in on here with Eris really paired up now, almost exact with the North Node, is one of a new direction. In addition, Venus is right here at 21 degrees of Libra. It's worth to note that Venus is at the exact solar eclipse point that we had on October 14th. And Venus was ruling that solar eclipse as well. So this new direction that Venus on one side together with the south node and Eris on the other side together with the north node is a strong indication or guidance for us in terms of a new direction based on a feminine uh, power, if you will. As many of you know, asteroid Eris is associated with an energy of power struggle and discord, but also a very deep feminine strength in the face of tremendous turmoil. So this pair of asteroid Eris and North Node opposite Venus and the South Node and the conjunction of the South Node to Boots, Actress, really are giving us a, a sense of direction that the integration between science and spirituality is proceeding. We have Venus here infusing that deep feminine uh, influence, if you will, from the South Node conjunction. Uh, and in on the other side, Eris there with her um, unapologetic feminine uh, power in the face of turmoil. And that may be also an um, invitation to us to acknowledge that sometimes when we grow, we have to face turmoil and walk through the fire. And this opposition here at this full moon is showing us uh, in some way what is going on potentially in the collective when it comes to the turmoil we see but also the remembrance of that in the in the very bottom line is the feminine energy stirring things up unapologetically uh, so that we can find our new direction in the direction we want to go next. And here, Mercury conjunct the galactic center opposite the Orion Nebula M42 is reminding us of it's time to speak up and uh, learn about what we are held back by. Uh, Mercury is uh, our ability to learn and uh, conjunct the galactic center here. It is a um, universal force that is supporting us to unearth uh, that what is holding us back from finding our own creativity within ourselves. So this pairing here at the full moon is really one of showing us the direction forward and the insights that we may have to walk through some turmoil to reach the next level, but also the uh, invitation to integrate uh, our views of the seen and the unseen, spirituality and science, for example, and that that is um, a way to reach um, the connection to higher intelligence provided by fixed star actress here in this opposition. So this creates an energy loop that emphasizes this theme's uh, new direction where Mercury as the ruler of this full moon get an extra uh, influx of energy from the galactic center uh, emphasizing the Orion Nebula here, energy that highlights how important it is to stand strong in the face of adversity, but also the higher intelligence coming in from actress. It's almost like an overarching consciousness to help us with the direction um, going forward in the feminine influence from Venus and Eris here as part of this energy theme. As part of this theme, I want to highlight Eris. Eris 
uh, in the way she's different. And from an orbit perspective, you can see, I put this image in here to help you see how different she is in her orbit just there. <laughs> it takes 560 years for Eris to, uh, in her orbit, but also she goes way out in the cosmos to gather information. And then she's now becoming um, on her orbit back to us here to, to really share with us uh, the rebellious ways we need to move into to evolve. So here we have the rebel, if you will, if you want to look at an archetypal energy and uh, associated with the North Node here, supported by uh, the high intelligence uh, energy matrix of fixed star Actress. This is a new direction. We have to go through some turmoil to get out the other side. And Eris is leading the way. So here we have the second theme that I call guidance through balanced creativity. And let's start with the full moon here, because the full moon, the moon is conjunct the star cluster hiatus, and particularly the fixed star hiatum one at six degrees of Gemini. So hiatus is a beautiful place. Uh, many times I speak about the hiatus star cluster as the holding place for souls before they descend to earth. Uh, because they, it's this infusion of creativity and playfulness and artistry, all the elements of our life force, basically. And as a young child, we express those qualities that we receive for, through that infusion <laughs> in hiatus. That's what I've seen uh, many times in uh, soul journeys of readings that I've done for others, that hiatus is this holding place. And this full moon is now conjunct this star cluster. Well, the moon is also making a trine to the supergalactic center at two degrees of Libra, which is also the support that's needed in the multiverse to provide this creativity that we are infused with here, uh, potentially being in hiatus before incarnation to uh, human form on Earth, potentially. And the sun is now at four degrees of Sagittarius, which is actually the degree point where Mercury was two weeks ago at the new moon in Scorpio. And Mars in particular is opposite the star cluster Pleiades at zero degrees of Gemini. So this opposition here uh, is very powerful, highlighting both hiatus and Pleiades here at this full moon. Pleiades, which is the higher communication, collaboration, very much our brothers and sisters, uh, ascended brothers and sisters. Uh, many of us have soul memories with Pleiades. Um, Sirius being conjunct Mars and the sun here at this full moon is another um, indication that it's the highlight and the momentum that we need now to increase our level of creativity and playfulness in our day uh, to allow that to be our guide instead of uh, other focuses that we may have. But the creativity and the collaboration around uh, creativity as a concept, enlightening us from within, it really is a important message of this full moon. And Ceres just brings in the additional abundance around this message. What's holding this together is the opposition between Saturn and Lilith here. And I want to highlight some uh, galactic alignments that are really important. Saturn has been here for a while at zero degrees of Pisces. Uh, one thing that I want to highlight here in this theme, which I will be going in uh, further depth into in the next theme, is Lilith's closer and closer conjunction to Draco Tuban, the fixed star Tuban. There's a, a quite a reputation of this fixed star in galactic conversation, but I will address Draco Tuban in the next theme. So stay with me for that. 
So what we have here is a very balanced energy grid or guidance grid, as I call it, with the full moon engaged, uh, of course, but also the long-standing engagement between Saturn opposite the royal star Regulus at zero degrees of Virgo, which is Earth, and Lilith here opposite the royal star Fomalhaut in water in Pisces there at four degrees of Pisces. And now at this full moon, the sun and the moon is engaged here in Gemini, which is air, and Sagittarius, which is fire, of course. And that extra punch is provided by Mars and Ceres here in the very early degrees of Sagittarius. So all elements are engaged here in this guidance. So again, the emphasis on guidance through creativity is really emphasized here, um, allowing us to think about what is the guidance that we can receive through creativity? What is the guidance we can receive long term by holding a balanced view, engaging all the elements uh, and ensuring that we maintain the bigger picture um, with uh, Sagittarius and the black holes engaged here? It's, it's about bringing that higher perspective down uh, on earth in the first deacon here. <laughs> so the growth opportunity here as exemplified by the squares in this guidance grid to the royal stars Regulus at zero degrees of Virgo and to royal star Fomenhaut, uh, four degrees of Pisces. How can we expand receiving guidance, higher intelligence, through creativity uh, in a greater way? How can we move into bringing that down to earth now, since this full moon is in the first deacon physical realm? Uh, so that might be an invitation to you to consider for this full moon. So here, I just wanted to highlight the Pleiades star cluster and specifically the fixed star Alcyon, which is uh, in alignment in opposition to Mars at this full moon, but also hiatus conjunct the full moon. Uh, so we have Jupiter retrograde moving into an opposition to the Shapley attractor. And for those who do don't know what the Shapley attractor is, it's one of the biggest universal drivers that is known to date. And so this is a huge influx of universal wisdom into our solar system with this opposition alignment to Jupiter in retrograde at this time. And this is also a, a conjunction of Pallas Athene, asteroid Pallas Athene to Shapley attractor highlighting for us that powerful, powerful uh, foundation for us to consider when it comes to universal wisdom and downloads of new earth energy at this time coming in through that expansive energy from Omea is actually also conjunct the Shapley attractor have been for a long time. So I, I didn't put her in this chart here uh, in conjunction with Pallas Athene because it just gets busy. But, but basically this alignment of Jupiter to Shapley attractor now means that new earth downloads of universal wisdom is clearly expanded at this time. The galactic points that are activated here that I want to pull out in this theme is involving Canis Major, Sirius B at seven degrees of Cancer, Draco Tuban at seven degrees, 46 minutes, almost eight degrees of Virgo. And of course, uh, Shapley Attractor here uh, opposite Jupiter. What the Sirius B is associated with a energy of uh, supportive, humorous, intelligent energy, very mercurial in that sense. Uh, Sirius B is associated with learning, higher learning, uh, communication also, but also humorous, supportive ways of collaboration. And the highlight of Mercury here in opposition to Canis Minor, Sirius B, highlights the need for staying in our learning 
mode, a higher intelligence learning, but also to be supportive in, in the way of being adaptable. So that's the highlight between uh, Mercury and uh, Sirius B here in this theme. And now we get to Draco Tuban, um, which has a quite a reputation in the galactic world for being associated with reptilians and very negative, overpowering uh, energy. I want to highlight here the depth of uh, sovereignty and character that is needed to actually face our fears. So the higher expression of Draco to Bond, in my mind, the way I interpret that is the energy that it takes to face our fears and the depth of character that that creates when we have to go from uh, disconnected to sovereign uh, as a soul disconnected from who we truly are. Now, this infusion of universal wisdom through the Shapley attractor uh, activated by Jupiter now expanding it in opposition, this is a key theme for us at this time to see how can we show ourselves in, a, in our unique costume in our unique inner costume and actually learn from that. It's a call for stepping into our sovereignty and also being uh, curious, creative, how we are getting to that place within, because it's not the same for everyone. And supported now with universal wisdom to expand that within ourselves, because when uh, we see this type of expansion in a chart, it means also that we are invited to make that expansion within ourselves as well. And again, this is happening in the first deacon, in the first 10 degrees of each of the signs involved here. So it means that it has relevance to the physical realm. How can you see your own uniqueness expand at this time? How can you express it, show it to others so that they can see in the physical world how your uniqueness uh, and, and your, your strength is uh, shown to others? So here I want to show you the two key players of this theme, Draco Tuban and Canis Major Sirius B. And how they look like in the sky, but also take in these images. They are channeled by Arya Loomis, uh, and they also exemplify potentially the opportunity for you to face your fears, but also bring out that creativity and uh, supportive, humorous, adaptive side of you to walk through uh, challenges to walk through the times we're living in. In summary, the first theme, a vision for a new direction, engaging both the North Node and the South Node, the North Node conjunct asteroid Eris, forging the way ahead, and the South Node conjunct fixed star Actress, now also conjunct Venus at this full moon, bringing in the direction and push from the south node from a feminine energy perspective, allowing Eris to forge ahead, um, highlighting imbalances that we may need to consider walking through, such as our own um, challenges, our own turmoil, but also collectively. Harmony energy surrounding this full moon by and direction by Mercury the ruler of this full moon opposite the Orion Nebula, the Orion Nebula standing for highlighting for us the need and the importance of standing strong through diversity and adversity. Eris, the rebel, that is really showing us the way by going out of the comfort zone. And that is the direction forward. What direction are you going in? 
The second theme, a balanced guidance grid and engaging the full moon here with the highlights of the moon being conjunct star cluster hiatus and the Mars conjunct the sun opposite the Pleiades star cluster. And the third theme, turning your uniqueness to your strength. Starting with Jupiter there, opposition to Shapley Attractor at two degrees of Scorpio, allowing that universal wisdom to be expanded, engage, engaging Sirius B in the Canis Major constellation and Draco Tuban in the Draco constellation. This is a um, call to face our fears, but doing it in a way such as being adaptable, being flexible. You and here I have some questions for you to work with at this full moon in Gemini. The first question is, how are you relating to change? What is your vision for your direction in your life? How can you become clearer about it? Are you trying to figure it out or uh, copy somebody else or are you tuning into your heart the second question is how can you be guided through your own creativity how can you be led in life through what inspires you how can you uh, embody your inner guidance The third question is, how can you bring out your uniqueness? How can you challenge a perspective that you have about yourself? Maybe you have shut yourself down previously. Maybe you have thought you were too much out there. It, it was an out there idea. Consider this again, bring it back and see if you can have a different perspective on it. Now is the time to bring out your uniqueness and maybe challenge that opinion or belief that you have about yourself. Bring out your most unique ideas. So this was the Galactic Astrology reading for the Gemini full moon. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I truly enjoy doing these readings for you. If you're curious about your own galactic alignments, download my Galactic Alignments Reference Guide. The link is below. Thank you so much. See you soon again. Bye.